so this is a problem we are solving uh, problem number 1.12 from this book problems in general physics One point one two. So period of problems in general physics. This is also a very important book and a book you must solve if you want to excel in JE advanced. Problem says that three points are located at vertices of an equilateral triangle whose side equals a. They all start moving simultaneously with velocity v constant in modulus with the first point heading continuously for the second, second for the third and third for the first. How soon will the points converge? Okay, I will write down this problem. Uh, rather uh, writing constant velocity with uh, uh, say velocity v with constant modulus I will write constant speed constant speed v uh, with first point heading continuously for the second and second for the third and uh, third point for the first this and should not be there first point heading continuously for the second second point for the third and third for the first how soon will the points convert Okay, so just uh, have a look at this problem. Now, what will happen here is at start, this is the triangle, and each side of the triangle happens to be A, and these are the particles at the corners of the triangle. Right. Now, at every moment it is given that this is the first particle first second and the third particle first particle moves continuously towards the second second towards the third and third towards the first so at start velocity vectors of the particles are like this this will have a velocity v here this will have a velocity v here while the third one will have a velocity v right now this continuously heading towards each other is also a continuous process. So after a small time dt, 
this first particle will move. See, for a very small time dt, we can uh, regard the displacement to be a straight line for a small time dt only. So, after time dt, the first particle has moved here a very tiny distance dt. Okay, so this distance is equal to v dt, right? A very small, uh, in very small time, it goes v dt. Okay, so after time dt, the first particle is here, second particle is here, and the third particle is here. Now, again, the same thing continues. So, now uh, the velocity vector of the second particle is here and velocity vector of the third particle joins towards the first particle it is here and velocity vector of the first particle is directly towards uh, this is directed towards the second particle like this. So, in the same way after again after a small time dt then this particles will move here dt again a small time so we can regard it as a straight line. So, again it is here, again it is here. Now, also it heads. So, that first particle heads towards the second, second towards third, third towards first. So, again in that way in small time dt again uh, after small time dt these are the positions of first, second and third particle. So this moves towards this, this moves towards this, while this moves towards this. So, after a few, after drawing one or two more triangles, you can very well guess where they are heading towards. Yeah, this one, then again this one, then again this one then again this one, again this one. So, as you see from this uh, diagram, these particles will meet at the centroid of the triangle from symmetry. See, this will have a part like this. So, if you draw this triangle again, if you track the paths of these particles, so they will meet at the centroid and the path of first particle, path of second particle, path of the third particle like this. At every point of time, particles 1, 2, 3 are at the corners of an equilateral triangle, right. At start, the side of the equilateral triangle is A and when they meet, then the side of the equilateral triangle is 0. So, so, in a certain instant or at a certain instant, this is the equilateral triangle, particle 1 heading towards 2, 2 heading towards 3, 3 heading towards 1 and these are having velocities v each. And suppose the distance between particles 1, 2, see this, I will name these particles 1, 2 and 3. So, uh, distance between 1 and 2 is r, 2 and 3 is r, 3 and 1 is r. These are the sides of an equilateral triangle. So, now, so if you look from 1, uh, say if you look from 1, then velocity of 2, now we will resolve it into two components. One component is here, v by 2 v cos 60 and this is v sin 60. So, if you make 1 as the reference with respect to 1 velocity of 2 is having 2 components, 1 component towards 1 and 1 component perpendicular to the line joining 1 and 2. So, that this component is see this is uh, in this direction this is in this direction. So, relative velocity they will be added up. So, that is 3 v by 2 and uh, this component is 
v sin 60 so root 3 v by 2 now so this is velocity of approach between the particles 1 and 2 it will be same for 2 and 3 and 3 and 1 so we can write minus dr dt so from here we can write see r is uh, decreasing at a rate 3 v by 2 so minus dr dt is equal to 3 v by 2 implies minus dr is equal to 3 v by 2 times dt now we can integrate so as i said when they started approaching then time was 0 when they met each other 1 2 and 3 then time is t when they started value of r that is side of the equilateral triangle was a and when they converged at the centroid then the side of this uh, equilateral triangle is 0 so you can evaluate this integral so this left hand side will become a is equal to 3v by 2 times t implies t is equal to 2a by 3v 